Hi, I'm Pastor Bill Vigu of Meet of the Word Ministries. I want to talk to you about the uh, communication of your faith becoming effectual, the communicating of your faith. In the book of Philemon, we read here where, where the Apostle Paul writes, and he says, Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank my God, making mention of thee always in my prayers. Paul would always pray whenever somebody came to his remembrance, whether it was one individual or a local church somewhere. Every time his mind was reminded of someone, he would pause and pray. He didn't necessarily have to get on his knees and fall prostrate on the floor, but there's no doubt about it. You can be instant, in season and out of season, in prayer. Men ought always to pray. And when people come to your mind out of the blue, be like the Apostle Paul and make mention of them in your prayers, asking God to help them and take care of them. That was the heart of God, and that's one of the reasons why the Apostle Paul wrote this letter. He knew that this man needed some encouragement, needed a word of exhortation. Well, anyways, he goes on to say this. I thank my God, making mention of thee always in my prayers, hearing of thy love and faith, which you have toward the Lord Jesus and toward all his saints. Not just love for the Lord Jesus, but love toward all of the saints. Do you love the body of Christ? Do you love every member particular? Or do you pick and choose who you love? Do you pick and choose who you want? And I'm not talking about hanging out now, love. I'm talking about caring for, wanting to pray for, wanting to see them strengthened and built up. I think there are too many ministers that are out there today. I'm, I'm talking to ministers now that are out there for themselves. They just really don't really care about the body of Christ. They just care about themselves. They just want to move forward and do their own thing. God wants them to produce. They want to produce. That's one of the reasons why I like to air these things because I make everything, you know, they, they say submit. We're supposed to submit to, to someone. Well, we're submitting ourselves when we're teaching and preaching. We're making it available publicly instead of hiding it behind our backs. You know, invite people. The effectual communication of our faith is important. So again, he says, I've heard of your love and I've heard of your faith and that you have toward the Lord Jesus Christ and toward all of his saints. And then in verse 6, it says this, and this is the verse I want you to uh, focus on this morning or today, that the communication of your faith may become effectual by the acknowledging of every good thing that is in you in Christ Jesus. Now, verse 6 says an awful lot. I mean, this is a powerful and potent portion of Scripture or a statement that is made. First of all, that the communication of your faith may become effectual. The communication means to, uh, the contribution of your faith. And I want you to notice that the very reason that the Apostle Paul is saying that is to encourage him and to exhort him to let his faith be communicated effectively or effectually because you know your faith can go without any contribution whatsoever to other people do you realize that do you realize that your you know the communication of your faith may not produce effectively that's the point here and that's why he goes on to say by the acknowledging of every good thing that is in you in Christ Jesus so let's analyze this verse just a little bit more here that the communication or the contribution or the impartation your faith should be imparted to other people. It should become a contribution to other people. It's That's why we communicate. It's not just the preaching, teaching, or speaking, but it's the communication. It is the impartation and the contribution of your faith may become effectual, may become effectual or operational in power, powerful operation. Not just, you know, pretty good faith, but he wanted your faith to become not weak, but strong, not you know, little but mighty or great faith. He wants us to have great faith. He wants to build us up to that place. Hearing God's word will make that kind of difference in your life. Faith comes by hearing and hearing and hearing and hearing the word of God. Hearing the nonsense of the world, hearing the gossip of the world, hearing the slander of the world, even hearing the, the true news reports of the world does not build your faith. Many times it builds you down. Now we need to be aware of what's going on in the news, but we need to do something about it. We need to make mention of our God and every good thing. We need to acknowledge every good thing. Look at this verse one more time, that the communication of thy faith may become effectual, may become powerful in its production and in its exercise, and this is how it's done, by the acknowledging of every good thing that is in you in Christ Jesus. I'm going to come back to that tomorrow and talk a little bit about acknowledging every good thing that is in you in Christ Jesus. Have a great day. God bless.